Yeah, afternoon. Great atmosphere. Well, we can join the Maidstone manager now, George Elikovi. George, your instant reaction to that draw? Um, firstly, it was a draw that um, most of our supporters didn't, didn't really um, want us to, to draw. But in my opinion, it's a good draw. Those both clubs are clubs that have history behind them. And we have to make sure when that time comes, we're going to go again and try to do it all over again. But it wasn't the draw that we all wanted. My personal preference was Wolves. And I was disappointed we didn't draw them, to be honest. But it's not about me. It's about our football club and our community and our players. We have to go out and do it again. But it's another good opportunity to get this club to the Golden Palace in the next round. <laughs> Definitely. Um, we are still in the, in the heart of the FA Cup. The magic is still very much alive. Um, and we have to make sure on the day, you never know with a bit of luck and the performances that we've been putting in as a, as a, as a team, as a club, as a community. Hopefully, on that day when it comes, we'll be ready and we'll give a good account of ourselves. How motivated are you to get a Premier League club potentially in the next round? Um, we just have to make sure when that tie comes on the day, we go out and do ourselves justice and our community, our players enjoy the occasion. That's, why, that's, that's, what, that's what makes the FA Cup special. Look, the clubhouse is full here. It doesn't matter about the draw. There's such a good environment and atmosphere at this club right now, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. This is, a, this is what good club runs do to your community. It brings everyone together. Like I said, it binds us together. We have to make sure we carry this momentum into the league as well and make sure we just enjoy the rest of the season now. You said about momentum. Your next four games are at home, so that's a good chance to capitalise on that momentum, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've had our times on the roads where we've, we've played so many games away from home and now hopefully we can have a bit of a rest and play in front of our home crowd for as many home games as we can and hopefully we can, we can get the crowd behind us here at the Gallagher and keep building up the points towards the right direction. There's no such thing as rest in non-league football, you know that, but how are you going to get your players motivated to go back to play Punjab next week? No, my players are, are always motivated. Once that game was finished on um, yesterday, We've been talking about enjoying the moment, enjoying the occasion, enjoy today. And tomorrow, we'll be back at work, making sure we're as professional as we do. And just finally from me, whether it's Sheffield Wednesday or Coventry, both winnable for you? Um, you know, on the day, it's about how we perform. We have to show respect to these clubs. They are massive clubs in my eyes. I've played in both, both stadiums and I know how, how good it can be on the day. Um, we have to show respect to them, obviously, in our preparations. And I know they'll be watching and watching the results and they won't take us lightly. And we have to be ready um, physically, psychologically, tactically, mentally. We have to be ready technically, but more so socially. And we have to go there and enjoy the occasion. And that's why we are still in the heart of the FA Cup in the fifth round. And then where? The Golden Palace. Well, you never know. The FA Cup dream is still much alive. And I'm sure they'll be, they'll be cheering on, on Maidstone. They might have, we might have a couple of fans from the Midlands that will come if, if it's Coventry, but also if it's Sheffield Wednesday away, we may have a couple of Wolves fans that will come and support us as well.